Hey guys, I am back with uh, the long promised video uh, on planning for war. Um, unfortunately, it is somewhere in the vicinity of 2 a.m. Uh, for Bones, who I was going to have uh, come in and uh, help me out with this and just give me a little insight on what he looks at uh, in planning for war. But um, with it being that early in the morning for him, it's probably not a good move. So um, you're stuck with me. But what we're going to go through here is we're going to have a look at the war that we are currently in with PB's Punishers uh, with Warriors for Life. And uh, I've been really lucky uh, in my time with the Punishers because they kind of noticed uh, my OCD and um, how much I get into uh, breaking down and analyzing um, statistics and wars and how that is um, all compiled uh, when we go toe to toe with uh, a clan like this. So. Um, I have been very lucky and um, just as I am able, uh, they've given me the chance to come up with our war plans. So what I'll do is, uh, you see we've got 19 hours uh, left in this war. Um, I still have four attacks to do, um, so hopefully I will get to them. I'm not going to do them live uh, on the video because um, I panic enough um, as it is if I'm streaming. So let's just go with... Uh, me planning outside of this. So um, as you see the breakdown here, we're looking at, uh, we have one Town Hall 11, four 10s, seven nines, eight eights, and about five that are um, seven and under. Um, the clan we're taking on has three 11s. So I'm gonna scroll through this um, very quickly. You can see uh, number one and number three are 11s, and all the way down here, You'll notice on the last video I went to it, number 23 is also an 11 um, because we love engineers and matchmaking. Um, it's always good fun. But I personally um, enjoy hitting engineered bases um, because you feel pretty tough when you're a Town Hall 8 hitting a Town Hall 11. Um, that's kind of kind of legit, right? So let's uh, keep moving up here. We, they have three 11s, four 10s, five 9s. Uh, 11 Town Hall 8s, um, and then two that are seven and under. Um, so we're a little bit um, unbalanced in that. Um, where we have the advantage is in the nines. Um, and fortunately, I rate our um, attackers so highly at Town Hall 8 that the discrepancy in that's not going to be too much of an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly um, show you what I tend to do in breaking down a war um, before I actually create the plan and then I'm going to go into showing you sort of how we divvy that up with people. It's um, going to be a pretty quick breakdown how we do it but hopefully it's um, helpful. So I'm going to put through here, this is a spreadsheet that um, I do, I sometimes write it down on paper first. Um, what I like to do is go through the bases in order um, and you'll see the second column there um, has the town hall level of that base um, and then the defensive or the real town hall level of it. Um, often with engineers it's quite unbalanced. Um, so despite the fact if we look down at number 23, um, it is a town hall 11, but defensively it's somewhere around that 6.5 mark. Uh, and with it being that 6.5, um, there's a few little things we can look for. Perhaps um, it may have max level Teslas and you can sort of anticipate that because they are weighted quite low. Um, but with the fact that there is a 7 above it on the list um, and a bunch of 8s, I'm not anticipating the Teslas will be maxed. I'm expecting they're probably um, close, um, at least Town Hall 9 level Teslas. So um, it will be interesting to see how that plays out in the war. Um, I break down the hero levels as well. Um, and the reason for that is although you can see it when you're looking through the bases, to have an overview like this um, when you're getting ready to plan can sort of eliminate bases somewhat um, and you sort of know what you're in for a little better. Um, the suggested attacker level, normally if I've given that a bit of a breakdown, this is actually from a previous one, I kind of forgot to adjust that uh, before I put this on, so sorry my bad. Um, that just gives us a little better idea of uh, where we think we're going to be using our attacks. Um, and then as you can see, um, I like to break down the hits uh, from the enemy town hall level and our town hall level. Um, and I tend to pre-note who we're going to have as war generals. Um, at Punish, we have war generals just to help 
um, when people don't know who they're going to attack or what they're going to do, perhaps if um, the bases that they're assigned have been cleared already, um, it gives them someone to go to and come up with a plan to help them out on where they're best to use their hits, either as scouts uh, or to pick up loot and how they might do that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, when I put this information uh, in, we tend to come up with a plan. I've just got a little cut down version of what we do. Um, so as you can see here, we break down the bases into groups. And so bases 1 to 4, which in this case, they are Town Hall 10s and 11s largely. Uh, then bases uh, 5 to 12, which is Town Hall levels 9 and 10. Uh, then we break up, we have set people that we may have uh, for dips and scouts um, in that mid-range where we think we've got enough of an overlap. And then uh, obviously with Town Hall 8 bases and the lower bases. Um, including engineered. Uh, so what we try and do is we look at how attackers have been performing previously and consistently in war, what town hall level they are, where they are able to hit, and then we break up the bases um, in a manner where we can effectively use those hits. We then assign attacks for their first attack, um, not specifically, but just in those groups. So um, in the case of the Town Hall 8 bases, uh, we look at the first attack being within the first six hours of war at that Town Hall 8 level where possible. Uh, and the aim is obviously to three star, especially at a Town Hall 8 level, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. Um, sometimes you get a bit caught off guard. Uh, and then the follow-up attack is either cleaning up within the first 12 hours of war or scouting where necessary. And... Um, we like to actually talk to the generals, especially if you're going to be hitting a high base in a scout and look at whether they are just looking to find out the CC, the traps, the trolls, um, or whether they want to test a specific entry on a base. Um, so there are different ways that you can scout and both have merits and um, effectiveness depending on what town hall level you're using to scout. So um, as you see, we sort of divided that up pretty well um, and we're looking at not having any loot hits, especially in those top bases, because though we've got a little bit of overlap, um, we don't want to have any loot hits until the result's secure. I'm pretty confident, despite the fact we're going against engineers in this war, that we will come away with a pretty solid win. So um, ideally, we're going to have some spare hits up there, and what I'd like to see is for our guys to actually use that in practicing um, 10v11 hits, uh, and where they can, 10v10 triples. Some of our guys um, have really good um, success rates with their 10v11s and have been doing a really good job um, hitting those 10v10s. And we've even got some 9s who, honestly, the way they hit 10s is in, just incredible. Um, I don't think it'll be long before we see um, a few 9v10 triples through our wars and not against weak bases either. So um, that's kind of where we like to break things down. So I'm going to quickly come back into here. Um, I lost a few trophies, but that's okay. And we're just going to come back into war and have a look at what we're doing here um, just while we close. And what we've got is if we come down into that group of bases. I'm sorry, I was having a quick look through here um, where we're going for the Town Hall 8s. And what we have, just to sort of clarify a few things, um, we have some people that are fresh Town Hall um, upgrades. Um, Sagerius is a fresh Town Hall 9 or very early stage Town Hall 9. And so what we like to do in those cases is still keep them within the Town Hall 8 bases for attacks, which helps to free up um, a few more scouts in that. And it also is a lot more secure for getting those stars and cleaning that up quickly. Uh, likewise, if we look up Psychotic Chaos, is also a um, pretty fresh um, Town Hall 10. And because he's not hitting fully at that Town Hall 10 level, uh, consistently, um, and that's nothing against them at all, it just happens to be the fact that when you're a fresh 10, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, what we like to do is assign the attacks to a Town Hall 9 base in that case, um, just to help secure that position early in the war um, and strengthen our chances of a solid victory. Um, and the guys are really good about it um, in doing that. They really sort of lay the, the ego on the line in that um, for the greater good of actually just really um, being successful for the other guys. So um, massive shout outs to the guys that are prepared to do that and the people that are prepared to dip and, and not go for loot um, just for that greater success rate. Um, really impressive. Um, as you can see, I've had a def uh, defense already. Um, 
gotta love when that happens. Always good fun. Um, so I am assigned the bases uh, 11 to 21 plus 23. So 23 is that engineered um, 11. Uh, but we also have one of our guys down here who's pretty confident uh, in hitting that base. So I think Roscoe is going to be going for that. I think he's called it, so um, we'll let him go for that. Um, and we've had some that have already been hit um, that we're ready to, to clean up here. So hopefully I'll be able to come back with the, uh, the follow-up and I'll be talking specifically about planning your hits. Um, this has sort of been an, a war overview and hopefully you can use uh, the same sort of principles. Maybe you don't want to go quite as in-depth, but uh, if you can use those principles and start working from the bottom up um, in your attacks, just so you know where you can go with that, then hopefully that will be uh, really successful for you as well. And the next video we'll be talking um, very specifically about planning out hits. Hopefully a 10v10, a 10v11, and my Town Hall 8 hits. So I'll see you next time. Until then, keep clashing and have some fun.